dial it in so that it's bright and crystal clear and sparkling. And then you touch it with your toys. Seldom have truer words been uttered on the interwebs. Yet the fury debate over tone woods and the dubious existence thereof has led to such vitriol, red herrings, flame wars and trolling, that the core insights of the doctor have been swept away in a tidal wave of nerd rage. So much so that your humble host has taken it upon himself to crawl out from the woodwork and project his nerdy fucking vice onto the interwebs in a likely futile effort to redirect the flow of discussion back to the advice and recommendations which the doctor wanted to provide us with in the first place. Now this nerdy fucking feist crawling out of the woodwork has digested the entirety of the material which the doctor posted on his tube station. And while I'm loath to put words or anything else in the doctor's mouth, I think we can boil his ideas down to two main points. The first being uh, getting the most out of your single coil pickups uh, in order to uh, use a bright, clean tone as your base setting before throwing effects on it and all of that stuff. And the second is that uh, most, if not all, production guitars are fundamentally flawed in some way. Uh, now the first point about getting a crystal clear sound is your default setting may seem obvious, but uh, in a world uh, full of double buckers, fat strats, super strats, uh, hot rails, uh, DiMarzio super distortions, and uh, generally having a ultra high gain as your chief selling point. This kind of information can be hard to come by, uh, especially now that uh, various forms of extreme metal, crossover, uh, stoner rock, and uh, drop C ultra sludge have become the predominant direction that mainstream rock is going in. Uh, you can even walk into a guitar store, even one with really good help, and literally not find anybody uh, to recommend you decent equipment uh, for the crystal clear default sound that you're looking for. This is where it's a salient point that Dr. Groovy is first and foremost an old time country picker. After all, clean is his chief selling point, a rarity nowadays, and he has honed it to perfection. In fact, that old time chicken picking that he does can be seen as a form of shredding with a bright clean tone. And few, if any, of those shredder guys would dare to play their shredder shit with a bright clean tone. Now, this is where it becomes important to note that you can benefit from the doctor's advice without actually having to like any of the music that he plays. In fact, the doctor's orders on single coil pickups and amp selection are equally applicable to any form of music on the electric that calls for clean. From uh, approximating acoustic sounds um, 
to uh, jangly stuff like R.E.M. and The Smiths. Uh, to the uh, razor thin sounds of funk. To various forms of underground rock shit that the doctor would probably be ideologically opposed to. Uh, Sonic Youth style shit and alternate tunings. Instruments which the doctor would almost certainly never play. To other instruments which would probably be of equally little interest to the doctor. Now, if you made it through all that fucking noise, well, I'm fucking surprised. And I'd like to wrap up this part on clean sounds and single coils before starting a new video for uh, part two, major flaws in production guitars and uh, guitar design, good and bad, and modifying your guitar to counteract the fucking flaws that they shouldn't have had in the first place. And uh, I'd like to conclude by saying that... Uh, this uh, tone wood debate, uh, long-winded uh, as it may be, uh, has actually brought together a lot of great minds in, uh, in the guitar world, such as uh, Duncan and his custom guitars and uh, Will's uh, Easy Guitar Lessons, who uh, chimed in for the physics part of the debate. And I'm curious to see uh, what kind of ideas are going to come out of this meeting of great minds. I think uh, major improvements in guitar design could be on the horizon. Thank you very much.